Science fiction is rife for suggesting that humans can travel faster than the speed of light. But is it possible for humans to travel faster than the speed of light? As per a new research paper published by American physicists, we can actually travel faster than the speed of light. Sit back and watch as we take a look. Eric Lentz, a researcher at the Universität Göttingen, conducted a study and published a paper suggesting how humans can travel faster than the speed of light. Lentz and his colleagues believe that in the future, humans can travel to distant stars and planets in the span of a few tiers. There's a catch, however. Lentz believes this is possible if space vehicles travel faster than the speed of light. You see, light can travel at the speed of 300,000 kilometers a second. Physicist Albert Einstein's famous theory of relativity suggests that it is impossible to travel faster than the speed of light. As a result, the latest research is centered on theories that are beyond our explanation. They call for hypothetical particle states of matter with unusual physical properties to permit faster than light travel. The problem is, this kind of matter either cannot be found or cannot be manufactured in necessary amounts. The new paper places more importance not on theoretical research, but on a possible engineering solution. The research describes a plan to permit super-fast travel by creating a series of and what the researchers call solitons to provide the base for a powerful propulsion system. So what is a soliton? A soliton is a compact wave that keeps its speed and shape while moving with its little loss of energy. According to the research, such a method could allow for travel at any speed. The findings were recently published in the journal Classical and Quantum Gravity. According to a press release explaining the process, the method uses the very structure of space and time arranged in a soliton to provide a solution to faster than light travel. According to Lentz, such warp drive technology could be used to drastically reduce travel times. This could pave the way for travel to distant space objects. Proxima Centauri is the nearest star and is just beyond our solar system. It's appropriately 4.25 light years away. A light year is the distance traveled by light in one year. Lentz estimated that reaching Proxima Centauri would take over 50,000 years using traditional rocket fuel. He estimated that a trip using nuclear propulsion technologies will take around 100 years. A trip at the speed of light, on the other hand, would only take 4 years and 3 months. The researchers' plans call for faster-than-light travel. This could lead to distant interstellar travel within human lifetime. According to Lentz, much work is required to make the method a reality. To be useful, the energy required would have to be reduced to that of modern nuclear power reactors. He added that a method for developing and speeding up the solitons must also be developed. Lentz considers research and development to be difficult but not impossible. He stated that additional steps could be taken in the coming years with a fully operational version possible by the next decade. He added that the first truly light speed trips could be tested in the years afterward. These hyperfast solitons can travel at any speed while obeying the laws of physics, according to a Göttingen University press release. Lentz came up with his theory after analyzing existing research and discovered gaps in previous warp drive studies. He believes that solitons could travel faster than light and create a conducting plasma in classical electromagnetic fields. Both these concepts are understood under conventional physics and obey Einstein's theory of relativity. While his warp drive provides the tantalizing possibility of faster than light travel, it's still very much in the idea phase for now. The contraption would require an enormous amount of energy that isn't possible using modern technology. The energy savings would need to be drastic of approximately 30 orders of magnitude to be in range of modern nuclear fission reactors. Lance said, fortunately, several energy saving mechanisms have been proposed in earlier research that can potentially lower the energy required by nearly 60 orders of magnitude. The astrophysicist said he would now focus his efforts on cooking up a workable version of the technology. This work has moved the problem of faster-than-light travel one step away from theoretical research and fundamental physics and closer to engineering. Lentz said the next step is to figure out how to bring down the astronomical amount of energy needed within the range of today's technologies, such as a large modern nuclear fission power plant. Then we can talk about building the first prototypes. 
Lentz claims that a solution proposed by physicist Jose de Terrio in 2002 demonstrated that expansion and contraction were not required to propel a ship forward. This work prompted him to reconsider how a warp could be created using only traditional matter and not exotic matter, which is a significant breakthrough because Deterio was able to demonstrate that the expansion could be trivial or zero everywhere, while still performing the same task of transporting the ship. The curvatures and sources in Lenz's proposals are highly correlated with the regions of high energy that makes his proposal a potentially more viable warp solution than those previously proposed. Of course, Lenz's work drive is still completely theoretical, but he does see a few steps that can be taken the right way to try to move his version closer to reality, including reducing the amount of energy required. That's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.